Professor Jones here. How are you guys doing? So right now, we're going to take time in this video to speak about, again, we in our last video, we talked about this is one staff or one staff, and the two connected are the grand staff. So let's talk about, let's go a little further with that. I'm gonna use the grand staff right now because it will expose both clefts. And we talked about how the treble clef uh, displays notes in the higher range going up, and the bass clef displays notes on paper in the lower range. So if we were to use, let's, let's use whole notes. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of whole notes on here. There's no time signature or anything. This is just to talk about the notes and how we remember them. So if I'm in my treble clef, and I notice some of my students have other words that they give to the letters, but the way I learn is, so I'm gonna start here and go every, so the word every, um, every uh, good, so that's a G. So you're taking the first letter of each word. So every, there's the E, good, there's the G, boy, so that means that's a B, uh, D, does, fine. So that always helps me, even today, to remember what those notes are. So that would give us an E, G, B, D, and an F. And then someone told me I could go F, so then I came up with the word uh, face. I mean, <laughs> all right, so then you can come up with the word face, F, A, C, E. So F, A, C, E. And that kind of covers the lines and spaces on the staff. So we have every good boy does fine for all the lines, and then F, A, C, E for all the spaces. Okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is the of the bass clef. And on the bass clef, uh, I was told to go good for the lines, boys, good boy, so that's a B, uh, does D, fine, F, always. Good boys do fine always. Okay? F, A. So that's G, B, D, F, A. And then for the spaces of this one, I was told to do all, so all, that's A, cows, C, eat. An E grass. So that would be a G. So that means it'd be G A B C D E F G. Okay, so that's how I found my lines and spaces. Okay, all right, I hope that that has helped you a little bit. You have to memorize those to the point where when you see a line or space, you just know automatically what it is. And the other thing is when you're going to write your notes, again, we're using whole notes in this case, but if we were using quarter notes and these were filled in, be very clear in your drawing about where is it on a line or is it on a space. I'm going to be very strict on you about that because that's a part of our uh, how we write and so that things are very clear. All right.
Okay, hope this has been helpful.